Hello. Book I just sold. Seven bucks. I make five forty. But I don't have the overhead. And all these writers are in it. And not all old books come with covers. I've had in the last two sales one had a hissy fit because it was an old book and it had a cover and inside was good. The outside was a little ratty. But for six dollars, come on. And she's sending it back, that's fine. I'm gonna throw it away. So I won't have to worry about that again. And uh the other book was a John Deere collector's piece a children's book in good condition, in mint condition, I should say. Had no cover. Didn't come with a cover. When you pick up books, when you collect books, when you go to places where they have books, not all books have covers. I am adamant about that. This book does have a cover. I'm going to show every book I sell. I'm having a sale right now. Buy a book for under $20. Get a book of the same value for half price. Till the end of August. And... 1997. So it's 25 years old. It's not a first edition because it has all these other um, writer stuff in it. And there it is. Now I take the book. Well, I have to feed kitties and do kitty boxes first. This fella has been whining, and he's just waiting. Um, then I go to the library. First of all, I have to go, I don't have any envelopes. So I found the cheapest place to get envelopes is the dollar store. And you get a big plastic bag type one with um, bubbles in it for a buck. I like the envelopes without the bubbles, but, you know, uh, otherwise it's like 214 for a 246 for uh, two envelopes at Walmart that have no bubbles. And I found that I can, I can uh, wrap the bigger envelope around the book, which I think is helpful. Then I take it to the post office and I slip it in the slot. Bigger books don't slip in, I found. And bigger books, I have to wait until the window is open, but our window closes at 11 o'clock, uh, noon. And of course, that clock runs on its own time. It has no battery. So, it does run. I have no idea how, but it does. Anyway. So, this is um, the last book, latest book sold, I should say. I have over 900 posted. Uh, they're over there. And these haven't been posted yet. Um, and I'm in the process of reading. Um, I like to read the book before I post it. Then, someone asks me what the book's about, I can say it did this and that. This, I have no idea. I have not read it. I, um, um, I got it because it was with a bunch of books. And I love uh, Mary Higgins Clark. You know, she's in her upper 70s. Woo, woo, a good girl. Keep going. Keep doing it. Keep being all you can be. Okay, I'm leaving you. I have to go to the kitchen and feed somebody. And I think I want to eat, too. I then I'll drive 
12 miles to Independence, get my envelope and go over to the library. Cost me 10 cents to print off my label and then drive home to Quas Creeton, Iowa and mail it. And I really have no idea where it's going because uh, the app isn't opening for me, so hopefully it'll open when I get to town. So, and then the book will fly away. The last two books I sent, um, she hadn't been given the deal. I don't understand. When you post it, the people that have the platform should do the advertising. But instead of saying, oh, by the way, did you know you get a second book for a half that price? Second book would have been three fifty plus the shipping. Three fifty. That's a really good deal. Um, but evidently, no one did, and no one did to the two books either. And I told her, I said, "You need to contact them. This is a sale. Your second book would be four fifty because the first book was seven was nine bucks." That's the reason you have a sale. You have a sale to go through your product and so you can afford to buy more product. So, anyway, my lecture for the day is done. I find that selling books is a very good opportunity for me. It brings in money that I don't have. My dad always said, he didn't say a lot of things that were notable, but the few things he did, one of them was lickety split. I love that. I, I've got Penny to say lickety slit. Um, and we're off like a dirty shirt. And um, every dime you get is a dime you didn't have. And that one is literally, literally exact. So, I'd love to have a building and be able to sell out of a building, but I don't have a building. Except for my home here in Quas Creeton. So, goodbye from the gang. I guess she's decided that I'm not moving fast enough. It looks like a nice, bright, shiny day. There's no man at my house. I have to do what I can do to keep things in the hole. So, I did. I'm sorry about my window, but... The only ones that look through it are me and the, my fur people. So, have a good day. Have a safe weekend.